We have speed. <laughs> we, have, we, have, we have speed. We up and ready? Okay, here we're going in five, four, three. On Hanging With today, uh, we've got somebody good looking for a change. Not all these ugly wrestlers. My young friend Nikita, who started training with us and who's now with OVW and has a WWE contract. And congratulations. Thank you very much, Les. Thank you. It's, uh, you know, we'll, we'll talk about it. First of all, you came to us from Denver, Colorado, where you had had some training, had been wrestling in the independence about two years. That's right. And you sent me a tape, and I thought I saw some potential. So uh, you packed up and moved to Cincinnati. Yes, I did. Um, Les, you did help me very immensely, especially with chain wrestling and bringing me back to the fundamentals because that was something I was lacking. Uh, but the Central Wrestling Organization is where I started in Denver, Colorado. And then lo and behold, I became one of the members at Les Thatcher's Heartland Wrestling Association. And now I got moved down to Ohio Valley Wrestling. Yes, uh, Nikita got a WWE contract. They thought that she had a lot of potential. So now she's an OVW busting her rear end. That's right, you <laughs> taught me that. You definitely taught me that. Work ethic is important, right? Work ethic is very important. And I think one of the things that I saw in you, uh, besides your loveliness, was the fact that a lot of the ladies in this business aren't comfortable with a microphone. But you seem to have no problem with that. And I think maybe that was one of the things that uh, made you uh, jump out so quickly in, uh, in the eye of the uh, trainers and uh, scouts with WWE? Well, I hope so. I, I know with you and how you helped with promos and you had the promo class with the developmental, you definitely helped me a lot there. Very encouraging, um, especially with all the storylines and the different sheets. And then also a lot of the times we just had to uh, wing it, so to speak. And, and you definitely helped me get a lot more comfortable. I had a little bit of experience in Denver, but it definitely helped going over and over week after week at, at Heartland. One of the things now in OVW, you're getting a chance, you've had a chance to train with Victoria, yes. who's up, and Jazz is back in action, and I think one of the finest uh, lady wrestlers today. And then the two girls from Tough Enough, uh, Jackie and Linda both, are also in the OVW camp, right? Yes, they are. Um, we're all training together, trying to work as hard as possible, because, you know, eventually we're all going to be, hopefully, working together on, on WWE. And of course, you're, you're having some matches now with OVW. Uh, is there any idea of when your first match with WWE is going to be? Actually, I, I am not quite sure. Hopefully, I can always hope for sooner than later, uh, but I'm definitely patient. Uh, I'm working on myself, trying to make myself better and better with every little dark match I have for OVW, and that can only help me in the long run for when I'm, when I'm up on top. Absolutely. What is the toughest thing you're finding now of course, the higher you get in this business, the more the pressure, and where do you find the most pressure currently? Um, basically in the psychology of a match, and if you don't have the years on of experience, kind of like yourself, you've had how many years, like 42? 42. 42 years yes. of experience, that makes a huge difference. Uh, whereas myself only being in the business for about three, three and a half years, it's been it's, it's a lot more difficult, and so you do need a lot of extra help, a lot of extra attention to make sure everything sets up. Of course, this is not just, <laughs> this is not just training in the ring two or three hours, but you've got to weight train, you've got to watch tapes, psychology, watch right, watch your diet, the psychology comes into play. So learning to be a full-time professional wrestler is a full-time occupation, it's 24-7, right? Definitely, uh, you have to devote everything. There's a lot of sacrifices that you have to be willing to uh, accomplish. For instance, moving, constantly moving. Um, <laughs> other than beautiful Lily and talking right now. <laughs> uh, but yes, a lot of definitely a lot of sacrifices will have to be made, and that's just something to expect. And hopefully, in the long run, it'll all turn out. Well, you know what. We're talking about a new career, but at some point you've got to stop and think what's going to happen on the other side of that because in professional wrestling or professional entertaining at any time, it's a, it's a short career usually. When I say short, 15 years possibly. What do you look at on the other? Would you like to train yourself? Would you like to get into commentary? What exactly would you like to do? Actually, I'd just like to try to um, encourage anybody who's willing to get into the business and work hard. Um, 
That's it's a very good question because, like you said, it's a short-term career. I mean, anything can happen from injuries. It can take you out 100%. But if there's any little detail that's willing to be taken, I'd be willing to take that position and try and try my hardest and best at it. Right now, I think we'll get you a match with Lillian. So we <laughs> <laughs> They're doing mic checks in case no one's aware. We are at the U.S. Bank Arena in Cincinnati. Sweetheart, it's been a pleasure. We want to wish you just the best. And, of course, when you're up in Cincinnati, you know the front door at the main event's always open. Uh, you're like one of the family. And, uh, by the way, thanks for coming up for the wedding. We appreciate oh, having you. Congratulations, Les. I love you. Well, I love you too, darling. And thanks for being with us. Oh, my pleasure. Our hanging with the day has been with Nikita.